फाइव कॉमन मिस्टेक्स ए सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टर्स आर मेकिंग राइट नाउ ऑल राइट लेट्स डिस्कस दिस ऑल राइट द फर्स्ट वन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच इज लैक ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन गाइस एज ए सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टर इट्स अ सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू कैन कॉम्युनिकेट प्रॉपरली विद एनी वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू प्रॉपरली कॉम्युनिकेट वट काइंड ऑफ बर्ग दैट यू हैव एंटर राइट वट काइंड ऑफ डिफेक्ट्स दैट यू आर एबल टू फाइंड दैन देर विल बी ए कॉम्युनिकेशन गैप एंड यू देर विल बी ए प्रॉब्लम वेयर बर्ग्स कैन स्लिप टू प्रोडक्शन राइट सो मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव ए प्रॉपर कॉम्युनिकेशन विद योर डेवलपर्स एज वेल एज विद योर प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर्स और स्टेक होल्डर्स दिस इज सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट स्किल दैट यू शुड है राइट अगेन सो कम्युनिकेशन जनरली वेन एवर आई से कम्युनिकेशन राइट इट मीन्स दैट यस यू नो यू शुड नो इन प्रॉपर इंग्लिश बिकॉज यू नो राइट लाइक नो मोस्ट ऑफ द कंपनीज आर यूजिंग इंग्लिश टू कम्युनिकेट राइट इट्स काइंड ऑफ ए बिकमिंग ए यूनिवर्सल लैंग्वेज एंड द सेकंड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज द टैम्पलेट्स एंड द चेकलिस्ट एज वेल एज ए प्रॉपर वे टू कम्युनिकेट विद द डेवलपर्स एज वेल एज स्टेक होल्डर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर कम्युनिकेटिंग विद डेवलपर देन यू हैव टू राइट ए बेटर better bug report so that he understand what kind of bug that you have entered and what kind of bugs list that you already have if you are not able to communicate properly to the developer that yes there are bugs which can basically occur in this area right then communication is failed in this case right so improve your communication that is the super important point that i would like to highlight number 2 which is that stop learning guys you have stopped learning i have seen this what happens is if you are a fresher you move to manual testing then you stop learning because throughout your 6 years 7 years what you are doing is that you are just doing manual testing continuously for a different projects so the new features are coming you basically are doing it uh, manual testing for it and again you will move back to the same cycle so overall you stopped what is called as learning so learning you have basically stopped this is a problem in your software testing career let me tell you why because if you want more salary if you want more opportunity trust me you have to improve your skills as well as learning also right so what you need to do if you are a fresher manual tester if you are a manual tester learn api testing api tester learn about the automation this is how you will improve your learn in the manual testing also you can improve a lot right where you can basically create more test plans work on a different domains right learning is important right this is a super important thing that you should do as a software tester all right third one is basically consider yourself doing multitasking please don't do this mistake so when i was into one of the uh, one of the bigger mncs that i was doing right i was doing multitasking trust me i was basically talking to my clients also i was creating some other task also i was part of another project where i was learning also right i was doing multitasking and that due to that i missed lots of bugs right the reason was simple because multitasking always gives you a poor result that is this is what i have seen but again what i am saying in the end is that focus you have to for a certain period of time you have to focus on a particular thing for example suppose a project is assigned to you you have to focus that okay this project is assigned to me i have to prepare a better test plan i have to prepare a better test cases i have to prepare s scenarios and those will i will take care and this is my own responsibility and i will not do multitasking in this case right because multitasking definitely will kill my productivity as well as there will be a slippage of bugs in this case all right don't do that that's a mistake all right uh, which is fourth one you don't understand the scope you don't understand the requirement and you start testing okay so there is a build of a mobile build that is given to you so mobile given to you right what you will do is you will just open that application click around you will do some exploratory testing and that's it but what about the in scope requirement what about the out scope requirement what about the requirement that is mentioned by the business analyst what about the different requirement which are super important that should be present in the into this application you missed it completely as a software tester we have a principle which is daa which means don't assume anything you don't have to assume anything you have to think about the in scope requirements what are the different things which should be present into this application do think like a end user don't miss the requirement this is super super important that you should uh, be aware of please take care that thing right and the last important thing is worry about the mistakes suppose Uh, i was lot, little worried about okay what can go wrong in production there will be a bug right so according to murphy's law if you know right if things can go wrong things will go wrong right so don't think about it be a positive in nature but as a tester we have to be negative in reverse of developers right because we have to think like okay developer have will make a some kind of mistakes 
right that we are basically finding but again if you are worrying about okay there will be a bug slippage bug slippage then definitely there will be right and also learn from your mistakes even i have done it i have basically slipped multiple production bugs there was revenue losses right there was other things but trust me if it if it is a genuine mistake due to some of the uh, you can say human error definitely the people will give you more opportunities as well as they will not give you that kind of a uh, treatment which uh, it is there right they will not immediately fire you or other things no nothing happens i have seen multiple times this scenarios where there is a bug slippage don't worry about it but again you have to give your 100% you have to think like end, end users and don't worry about whatever the things can happen but right now you have to focus on okay i will give my 100% i will write my test cases and this is where i will basically bring in and i have taken my full responsibility of a project if everything anything goes wrong i will handle it by creating a root cause analysis immediately we will send some hot fixes right so that's what you have to do you have to be proactive rather than reactive in this nature all right i hope that makes sense like and subscribe for this kind of videos and let me know what is the one mistake that you have made as a software tester in the comment all right i'll see you in the next video